All right, everyone, welcome to uh, another Flat Cap interview. Um, as you all know, we normally do bands and that, and we're here at the, the Two Tone Village in Coventry, and we're not actually the only people filming here today. We've uh, stumbled across um, cast and crew from a, an independent film that's being made. Uh, it's called Double Barrel, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, Double Barrel. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, and we're going to see what we can find out without giving too much away about the film. Um, three of the cast here, I'll, I'll let them introduce themselves and they can sort of tell you what, what part they're playing. I'm Finn March and I'll play Aaron O'Neill. Uh, my name is Brody Ingalls and I play Phil Dyer. <laughs> and I'm Ellie Swan and I play Jackie. Cool. So as you can probably see, there's a um, there's a bit of a subculture going on here. Skinheads, oi, sort of thing. Um, a group of mods. <laughs> group of mods, yeah. You're in a good place though to be representing yeah, yeah. what yeah, you're doing. 100%. Um, if you can, just give us a little bit of background on where the film's right. set. It's set in the when is what it's is it? Set 18, 19, 19, not. Set in 1980. 1980 is where it's been set, yeah. Do you want to explain it or? So we all got into it via meeting each other on social media. I think I'm the latest out of everyone to got into it. I found it out through, through Brody. Me. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I met Kev through just mutuals on Facebook, got a message off him and I didn't even reply for about three months. <laughs> and uh, he was like, oh, uh, do you want to be an extra? Met me, he was like, tell you what, no, perfect role for you. And just introduced me into it, but I've we were skinhead before that. That's why he contacted me. Yeah, contacted yeah. me. No one in the film is just a skinhead for the film. Yeah, we all get yeah. everyone. Skinheads, but we're all everyone, yeah, yes. everyone is actually involved in the subculture, and just not buzzing their head off just because. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. just because of the, the yeah. film. So the publicity thing. Though. Although you're in character, you're sort of we are pretty characters are pretty 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 to what you're yeah. Works well with costuming because all costuming that's been used in the film are all clothes we already own, so it's been quite easy. Boots, braces, etc. It's all yeah, yeah. in our own wardrobe. Yeah, that's yeah. nice out. And uh, one of the lads uh, is lucky because he's got some proper old 80s stuff himself as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll say he's got an old NCB donkey jacket. Yeah, he got so it's perfect. Um, fits in well. Yeah, with fits in oh, oh, proper well. Yeah, Love yeah. it. So, Kev, is this is he self-funding this? It's yeah, it's, yeah. it's sort of like back old school DIY, which is probably relevant to what was going on We've late seventies, yeah. eighties with the bands and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. If you didn't get on a label, you. Sort of went out there and we've been and doing do a lot yourself. of fundraisers at different rallies. We've gone up to London, done days. You just like tonight we're doing um, a fundraiser for raffle tickets yeah. to kind of get the Generally. film out there. And yeah. there is a raffle draw tonight where people can win bad manners tickets. There's the two sets. Uh, two people won it. Me and Ellie. <laughs> uh, we we won the, the bad manners tickets at Catford, which we had on the fourth of February, where we had an oi night, which. Uh, Rise Up, The Glory and Crown Court played and they were amazing bands and uh, they, they played incredibly well. Then on the Saturday night it was a reggae ska, stuff like that and we had DJs. Everyone's a car, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> but, right. no, um, uh, but no, it was a fantastic night at Catford at the, um, oh, I don't know the name of the pub. But it was a great, yeah. London was so a great you, weekend. You, you're enjoying yeah. actually. Yeah. Because travelling around yeah, getting a bit of promotion stuff to do. Yeah. It's funny you mentioned the glory there because yeah. I actually interviewed them two weeks ago. Oh, oh, really? I know a great set. Yeah, time. I know um, Timo. Well, I, yeah, I know yeah. Timo um, and Russ, but I know the others now as well. So, um, but yeah, I know when I spoke to Kev, he's, he was sort of saying the the backdrop to the film or the music. I think they're open. Oh yeah, they're open. Some of the music. Yeah, they're as open. Well, some of it. Because Kev has made it. Double Barrel for the David Antle Collins track, obviously. He's setting it with a bit of a reggae, ska 
bass thing, but he was also having Tim O'Hell part with some music side things. Because obviously, 1980, all the music come about, and and, uh, and it was just booming at that point in time, really. Up until 82, that's when it burst. Was like yeah, everyone yeah. knew it. I, I think so. <laughs> that's yeah, just my yeah. own knowledge. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm way, way older than yeah, these people. It's, so. it's, it's my own knowledge, yeah. really. But uh, no. Uh, uh, Timo from the Glory is helping us out with a soundtrack yeah, thing, cool. all original as well. We are using uh, one of their songs, which is a great song, um, which Finn here is having to perform. And we'll, <laughs> that, that is one of them things which we'll get obviously put out there. Yeah, yeah. So what what can you tell us about the about the film? So it's obviously based around the subculture, but there is a story going on oh, as yeah, well. Without giving on. too much away. Do you want me if, to if take you can... though, spoil anything? Um, what about Finn? Go on. Main lad. Put you on the spot there, mate. Ah, kid. <laughs> Go on, do you want, do you want to give us a bit of a, a rundown on what's going on? Uh, I'm trying to think what to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, set in 1980, we all play skinheads and we're all from a different background. So, my character's an apprentice hairdresser and I'm Darren's girlfriend. Darren's from a poor income family, kind of. Fends for himself a bit, but yeah. he's a bit of a wrong and it uh, yeah. my, my character is just set around your average, uh, near enough always skinhead, rough, mucky, mucky lad that doesn't wash much, near enough sits in the same clothes throughout the <laughs> yeah. whole week, football, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, type stuff. Uh, just your average always skinhead in that way of saying it. And uh, no, and it's based around, uh, I'm trying to think. Films set very day to day, so you see gigs, going to bars, at home. Yeah. Yeah. So it's in the moment, There's as in what was going yeah, on. Yeah. The Underlying yeah. plot of crime and um, gun control, that sort of thing. But there's not too much we can give away without giving away the plot. Yeah, but yeah. it's very much kind of train spotting, adulthood esque. It's very you see what everyone's up to and you really connect with the characters yeah, but there's yeah. an underlying plot that follows through everyone's lives and gets mentioned and everyone knows what's going on. Yeah, okay. Sounds pretty full on. And uh, yeah. uh, uh, I can't say anything about the script but reading through it is it's amazing. Uh, Kev and Adam, who is currently at the Skinhead Reunion, boring. <laughs> but uh, obviously it's the place to be with us. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. Uh, no, skin, uh, Adam is at Skinhead Reunion representing us. Getting yeah. barred from everywhere like he should be doing. <laughs> but no, he, 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 him and Kev, who both live together actually, uh, have wrote the script themselves. Yeah. We've, we've all put in for it, gave them ideas, and overall it's great really. It it looks dead on, like bang on what, what we need for it. And all the characters suit the people that yeah, play yeah. them. Like, uh, Kev has really articulate, articulately picked out who should play each yeah, role. Who's if you, well, Finn's perfect role for Darren. Uh, so is there, is there a, so uh, your your character is more or less what the, the oh is he's like the main he's around? The yeah. 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 Uh, protagonist, yeah. Yeah. And okay. uh, Ellie's character is his missus in the film. But, yeah. And uh, I think then obviously there's all little things going yeah, on. Yeah, there's with all the, all, the others, but uh, you, you there's know. all the little things, and we've all like, coined in ideas. I think What's great is um, Kevin Adam, they really get you involved. For example, um, my character was initially only in a few scenes, and yeah. I spoke to Kev and I said, obviously, it's two men writing it. I feel like the skin girls should get more involved, yeah. and since then, having, I've been assisting him. Having a bigger part in, in it. writing yeah. scenes between just the girls, and it's really great because if you have an idea, you immediately take it on board, discuss yeah. with you. I remember um, one of our castmates was reading through the script, and he even said, I'm reading through all my lines and I can imagine myself saying everything yeah, because okay. it's so me. Yeah, that's cool. Not I'm not sure <laughs> if I was there or not. So are you, are you all, are you actors, or what's what's to go with you, or is it just Kev, so he obviously put something up on Facebook and yeah. you've responded, but do you all do normal jobs and stuff like that? You're not full-time actors oh. or anything, are you? Or no, are you? No, uh, well, Ellie, she's had her own acting experience that she likes to boast about. <laughs> and putting everyone, she's like, oh yeah, I've done this, I had an agent. So to be fair, Kev is fucking fan of, oh. uh, Kev is fan of Diamond. Better, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, I have done performing art stuff like that, mainly uh, dancing, but I have had the acting experience with it, which is also a lucky thing for Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about you, Finn? You? 
No, no, at all. Not at all. No, at all. But no. So you're almost all learning yeah. on the job then. Yeah, so what, yeah. what a great experience Kev, for all of you. Kev to get and do, do the project. Yeah. Kev a lot of retakes. <laughs> Kev, why, once you get it, it's like we we tried a couple of times. Like when we've done the first scene, we done it over. What was it? We must have done it about 20 times. Yeah, but we, we just got right the end. Thing, really. yeah. You stand up, you sit down. No, you're walking the wrong way. Stand up, sit down, stand up. A lot of it's yeah. improv as well. Like yeah. We, yeah, well, you're learning. Nine, just, yeah. We just kept changing them. We said, like, oh no, that don't sound right. We want this line instead of this line. Yeah. And then, Some of the girls that are in the film, they do artist stuff, they used to do dance. Um, Rubble Finn's girl from real life, she um, makes earrings, she goes to art uni, yeah. she's very into that. I've done performing arts classes for So none of us have any professional experience, but we're all, like, we're not strange, but we all love acting and we like, like media, so this is such a great thing to get into. And yeah. we are very open to just learning it, really. <laughs> yeah, but that's good. Yeah. And I mean, it's the, be it's the best thing for it. Really. I mean, you two knew each other, did you say before? Oh yeah, we've been, but, uh, the re like the rest of them, you're all coming in. Yeah, you all get on together, I presume. It's really you know, good. But, we're from all over. For example, I'm from Northampton. Brody's from Boston, Lincolnshire, and Finn's from London. So yeah. we're literally from all over. I found a film through Brody after we'd been dating a while, yeah. and he introduced me to the scene, which was fantastic. Been, have been in it for a while and found it via Facebook, and so has everyone else, really. Yeah. yeah. So do you think, um, like obviously, the you've you've got the the skinhead thing going on. Is it is it music that you all sort of like? Or, oh, yeah, yes. yeah. For that, so yeah. The, probably the music yeah. side of it and that that's brought you. Them together Definitely. as well. The fashion and the music, yeah. because what's so great about being in a group of people that are so different but so like you is you can come out in an outfit that you're wearing for a scene and they'll be like, I like this, change this, change this. Kev, what song could we put here? Because I yeah. really like yeah. this song, put it there. So, so back in the day around that time, there was a lot of subcultures going on as well. So are you in the film, are you like a little gang? Uh, oh, like a little gang of people? Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously there was mods. Yeah, well, there was mods in the film as well. There is, there is a scene Edge, of mods, yeah. yeah. Root Boys. Yeah, there's yeah. plenty. Um, Tom Rouge Yeah, we, we had a lot. Of, I'm not sure if... Yeah, he is actually, yeah. He is, he is, he is. Yeah, sorry. He, he's a punk, he's meant to be playing a punk in, in the film. And there's also like an old band aspect, stuff like that. So that's what to expect, to expect like a lot of music orientated scenes and a lot of stuff. Start a football casual, so, football hooliganism coming in. I wouldn't say casual, I'd, I'd say more just the fighting at the, the football. Yeah. It, it, well it was quite a violent yeah, time back yeah, then. Yeah, well. it's been, I mean I was a punk. No, uh, yeah. but uh, with the football side of things, if there is a comedic thing in it, there is more a dramatic thing, crime, a bit more like true crime where it actually shows the stuff behind the scenes of it. Yeah. And not just like, oh, here's this, but we're not going to tell you where it come from. Yeah. There's actually a story behind it that just gets said here and there. So it's, that's what's so great about the film. You've got, you've got culture, you've got crime, you've got romance, you've got comedy. You've basically got everything. So it's trying to, these are about real people yeah. who actually live these lives. So, I mean, in, in my head, I'm thinking sort of somewhere like this, this is England, that sort of thing, but uh, yeah, a film, to, not not the same, obviously, not to, but not you know, to be big edit, but probably better. Because <laughs> this is it. Because no, I don't want to be like a knob about it. But this is England is a great thing with a great set of cast who are an amazing at acting and they've made a really good living off it. But I feel like this is England centres so much around the one thing, which was the racist topic. Yeah, yeah. You see at the start, Sean sees all the skinheads in the tunnel. They've got all that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it kind of sets the scene for it. Then they've got all the National Front stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. But it really doesn't show the National Front for what they are. It was a bunch of old men there. No, no, there would there would have been young lads there, but it's all men in the thirties up to the fifties. It would have been them there because obviously they showed them views. But then they did centre it a lot around the racism. Then yeah, the yeah. miniseries, I think that was just more of a money grab thing. Like they they just were getting people from out of nowhere yeah. for that. But no, I think this not this is in Granada Park. It'll oh, be bigger good. than it'll be, it will be bigger than it hundred <laughs> percent. Because modern day, yeah, yeah, well people making it more modern day than the early 2000s. Once the trailer comes out without once again giving too much away, it's a lot of flashbacks and it's set in modern day and there yeah, is yeah. discussions over are skinheads racist, are, are, are skinheads national front and it kind of 
the film touches on it as it should because I think it's really important to say yeah. that. Well, it was part of the time. Yeah. So. But our film, it's not about race. We've got um, white people involved, we've got black people involved, we've got yeah. mixed race people involved. It's everyone coming together. So it's mentioned, but we've tried to stay away from but it. But it's not about focus that. It's on about the, the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it does show because skinheads were a political. The, there was obviously the political ones, the, you have your sharps, you have your boneheads and all that. But at the end of the day, it wasn't all about that. If you got along, you got along. Yeah. And if you was an idiot, you was an idiot. And, but people just seem to forget that and are blinded by what the media painted skinheads out to be. Yeah, yeah. And that's what the media wanted, really. They wanted yeah, people well, they, to be... Yeah, well, they do, they do put yeah. a, a slant on it that suits yeah. them and sells papers. But, um, so the, the film itself is sort of... As in funding wise and stuff like that, I know I know you're all working hard and Kev, Kev's working hard to get to get the thing off the ground and get it get it going. Yeah. There is a trailer in there that he's in the works. That, that will yeah. come out at some point. Um, I suppose if people are watching this and they want to get involved and maybe want to chuck a few quid yeah. away, is there any way that they could do that? Um, yeah, you go on Facebook. Oh, sorry, that's all right. Um, uh, sorry, I was a bit. Uh, <laughs> You go on Facebook, Kevin Sadler or Double Barrel of the Skinhead Film. Uh, at the moment, the group is private because we had a lot of people swarming it with like, that's not right, but it, there's more negative hate than it was positive hate where they're just trying to help out. It was more just people slagging all of us lot off because we're young. And half of it is, so this is older people from yeah. the day looking half, at you, half of playing. Is, thinking we're fake half of it is yeah. just jealousy based around the fact that they're not doing what they did anymore. or. Because they, they think because it's in London, we need to be showing national from racist skinheads, and we need to go around beating up yeah. mixed race. So they don't people. actually know the bigger plot. Do yeah. They? We're still trying to get loads of actors involved. We need a lot more people. So if people are interested, want to donate, or even want to get involved in the film, anyone who's a photography drummer or just likes the culture, yeah, yeah. you can literally. We've got Double Barrel Facebook page with info. Then we have Double Barrel the fan page where you can just join and learn about everything. Yeah. Kev selling raffle tickets. Yeah, I've yeah. already mentioned before, so there's a lot of ways to get involved, and it's very much you don't need any experience, you just need to be someone who loves music yeah. and loves the fashion. You want to do it, you're keen to do it, and, yeah. and the, with the raffles, uh, we're currently sold out on the uh, the big money prize, which I'm pre pretty sure is 500 quid. And it's 500 quid goes to the film, 500 quid goes to whoever wins the raffle. Yeah. That draws tomorrow on Facebook, Yeah. Okay. Uh, but with selling raffle tickets at the moment, for today, which are uh, for bad manners, but there'll be ones in the future which have more prizes, more more things that more you get out of it. The, 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 the more you, the more you can yeah. do, can't you? The more you give, the more you get out of it. Really, it's one of them things. It's it's all it's all a matter of making the money for it. But we've done very well money-wise. We've received yeah. anonymous donations that even us lot don't know. It's more it's a really private thing, the anonymous donation. But, the people that have it is. That's exactly <laughs> no, but a, a lot of the people that have donated have, have come from, and it's not none of it is dirty money. We have took uh, and we would refuse stuff like that, even though we need the money. We don't. We don't need to be associating ourselves with dirty money no, no. That, that's been it's coined off. It's all hard work. Yeah, it's yeah. all hard work, and that's what it's really about. Uh, everyone works, and everyone has put in their own money as well. Yeah, yeah. I think what's great is everyone's got full time jobs. Uh, yeah, but I'm, you're still committed I'm to still doing what college. you're doing, isn't you? Yeah. It's very, it's like a really big family kind of aspect. Yep. We're all getting involved. So if there's a do on, we're like, we'll put it here on this day because you can work and you can work and you can come here. It's very, yeah, yeah. it's like a big community. It's really nice we've all come together. Yeah, be a lot, lot of, lot of organising and, and giving up a lot of, a lot of time, I suppose, to, to make it happen. But um, is there a time frame? What are we looking at? Are we, are we trying to get it done in 12 months or? No, it, it, it does take a lot of time. It will be time. depending on and the it, funding it and would, that. And what makes it so great is is the fact that the film is set uh, certain t certain parts of the year and all that. So really, with the fact that it is taking quite a while to do, it will it will make sense because if one of the characters have a new tattoo done, which is a bit visible, it just looks like they went and got it. Or if they've had a new piercing, it looks like the new hair, the yeah, yeah. hair, stuff like that. I suppose you could bring that into the. Yeah. Oh, you've been and got a new one done. Yeah. yeah. You can yeah. bring it's it like, into it, can't you? So it's not going to affect you. It's like, I think what we're trying to do is we've made this trailer, we're trying to get as much publicity as possible, and then the idea is once we've got a big enough fan base yeah. and enough funds, we want to go to sort of yeah. different production companies and ask them. 
here's what we've got, take yeah. it and make it, take something good and make it something absolutely fantastic, yeah. that's what you want to yeah. do, because just what we've got right now is not what, it's fantastic, but it's not what we want, we need someone with start, experience and bigger yeah. to take this and put it up there like we want. Yeah, well, I, I hope it all comes off, you're all keen and um, oh. enthusiastic, so let's hope that over time that, that stays and you get the funding you want. Um, because it's hard when, when you, you, you're full into something and you yeah. need this and you need that. And if people, it's about getting it out there, really. Yeah. If you can't get it out there, then it'll be, it'll be hard, which is the same with bands with music, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And everybody has to do the bit with that. If you don't share it and put it somewhere, nobody knows it's there. Exactly. So if they don't know it's there, you're not going to get sales uh, or, or whatever. So ev social media is a great, great thing, um, you know, sort of Kev, Kev's project and what have you, he needs to do it, but I reckon if you guys, you're all helping now, if you guys all put it out there, which I think you will anyway, yeah. you know, get your families and friends, yeah. you know, we're doing this, and eventually it gets bigger and bigger, and it will, uh, yeah. you'll get to where you want to be with it, so. Brilliant. All right. Yeah. Well, wish you all the success with it. Um, I look much. forward to seeing the trailer when, whenever that's coming out. Yeah. We don't have a current date set, but it should no, be in the next I'll keep in touch with Kevin. People will see this and I'll, I'll blast up uh, yeah. things as they come through and what have you and that. So, yeah. Thanks for coming on, guys. Thank, Thank you. No You're welcome. See you next time, folks. Cheers. Cheers.